This is the solution to written homework eight. So in part A, you're asked to multiply and collect like terms. Okay. So then what will happen is that uh, you can distribute the left across the right or the right across the left. So what I'll do is I'll distribute um, I'll distribute this one into each of these. So to that one, to that one, to that one. Okay, so then forming that distribution, it'll be 2x squared times 4x minus 1 multiple, uh, plus 2x times 4x minus 1 and then plus 1 times 4x minus 1. And now the distribution goes the other way. So now this one will distribute to that one and to that one and this one distributes to that one and to that one and this one distributes to that one and to that one. So that would be uh, 2 times 4 is 8 and x squared times x cubed is x uh, times x is x cubed. So that would be 8 x cubed and then minus 2x squared and then plus 2x times 4x, well that's 8x squared and then minus 2x and then plus 4x minus 1. So now let's <coughs> simplify and collect. So cube is the highest of all the degrees and that's the only one. So that would be 8x cubed and the squares are next. So minus 2 and plus 8, so that's plus 6, x squared, and then uh, plus 4x minus 2x, so that's plus 2x, and then minus 1. For part B, uh, for part B, I'll use the sort of symbolic idea that the shape that we're looking for, this shaded area, so that's what we want. Well, that would be this whole rectangle if we were to if we were to sort of fill in the missing corners. We were to fill them in. We could just compute the area of one big rectangle and then I'll subtract away uh, the two little rectangles. So minus this little rectangle and this little rectangle. And that'll be a little easier to deal with it that way. Okay. Well, this whole side right here because this one side is 2x plus 1 if we add one more this would be 2x plus 2 so 2x plus 2 and then this is 3x plus 5 and then that's just this bit and to get all the way to the right that's another another y so this would be Uh, 3x plus y plus 5. So that's the dimensions of the big rectangle. So the product of those two, so that'd be 2x plus 2 multiplied by 3x plus y plus 5 and then minus the little rectangle, so 
1 times 1, and then minus the still little rectangle. So that'd be x times y. So now we need to carry out this multiplication and simplify. So much like the top one, a bunch of dis distribution. OK. <clears throat> so 2x plus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 2x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 2x plus 2 multiplied by 5. So that takes care of one distribution in here. So this would be minus 1 for that one, and then minus xy. So this is this. these three terms are that one. <clears throat> okay, further distribution. So that would be uh, 3x times 2x, so that would be uh, 6x squared, and then plus 6x, and then plus 2xy, plus 2y, and then plus 10x plus 10, minus 1, and then minus xy. So let's collect everything. So 6x squared, that's all the squares. And now I'm going to take everything with that has at least two variables in a product. So I'll take the xy's and this xy. So this is 2xy minus 1xy, that'd be plus xy. So this is xx, and this is xy. Now I'll take just the ones that have a single variable, so 6x plus 10x, that'd be 16x. Okay, now just the y's, so 2y, and that's it, so plus 2y. So these are all the things with two variables in product, all the things with one variable in product, and so now the constants, 10 minus 1 is 9. And that's the answer.